Welcome to another beautiful fear-free Friday. Today's quote comes from William B. Sprague who said, do not wait until the iron is hot, make it hot by striking. It's a lot of wisdom in those, that couple of short sentences there, right? There really is. If, if I sit around waiting for inspiration, odds are I'm not gonna be doing much today. Because whether inspiration shows up or not, that's a whim I simply cannot control. But what I can control is the choices that I make that can help that inspiration show up. So as Mr. Sprague said, make that iron hot by striking it. Just start. When I show up, uh, this is a writer thing I'm sure, and I'm, I bet I'm not alone in this. Uh, share in the comments if, if this sounds like you as well. There are days where I get up and I don't feel like writing. Which is also very bizarre given that writing is the thing that I love doing most in the world. It still remains true that there are days where I don't feel like sitting down on my computer and starting. I don't feel inspired. I don't feel like it. Here's the thing. Getting my next book written doesn't give a crap whether I feel like it or not. All it cares is that I do it. So I, I've implemented a couple of cute little tools over the years. One of them is, is a, I wish I had it down here with me, I don't. It's, it's a little two minute dollar store sand timer. And on those days where I don't feel like doing it or I'm not motivated or I'm not inspired or you know, the universe is conspiring against me, whatever crap I want to tell myself. In that moment, I simply pick up that two minute sand timer and I flip it over and the deal I make with myself, the lie that I tell myself, I only have to write for two minutes. The beautiful thing about that is two minutes is a time frame I can probably cope with even on my worst day. And the more, second and more beautiful thing is that by the time I've gotten through the two minutes, I've forgotten the stupid timer was even set because now I've, I've, I've got the pr pump primed, I've got it started and away I go. That's the beauty of it. So if you're having a challenge, a mental difficulty with getting started at whatever the thing is you know you need to do today, just start. Do it for 30 seconds. Lie to yourself if you have to, like I do from time to time, and just start. See where that takes you. Because my bet is, this is that your brain, like mine, will discover, holy crap, I actually really like this. Let's do more. <laughs> so with that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And l let me know in the comments what the thing that was holding you up is and what happened after you just started. I'd be very curious to hear. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.